Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Leader Class Sludge from Studio Series 86. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process. The review is separately uploaded. This is quite tricky, so bear with me, and I'm going to be as descriptive as possible. So take hold of the arms first and foremost. Turn these up to face or parallel with the floor. Then watch this joint here at the shoulder. Rotate it 180 degrees. Take your fist, turn it now to face the ceiling. Pop it up, and in it goes. Then we've got this little black, I suppose, lever there. Push this right down, it will click into position and it, once you've got it there, again, it's super tough. These are nice big ratchets. Once it's clicked in, there you go. Same on the other side. That was the lever there we were moving. So to be honest, if I showed it you now, it's just a case of bringing it forward and slotting it like that. So turn the fist to face the floor, push it in, bring it up, rotate 180 degrees and you've got the same there now as what we've got. Oh, no, that bit's just come off again. So let's just turn it back and push it down. As I say, these are nice. That's better. Nice and tough, big ratchets. Move these right out of the way. Now, turn our attention to the very cleverly engineered legs. Open up this, open up the foot, open up this part, fold it all the way out and take it all the way out to the side. You've got all of that from inside this. So foot out, this bit from the side out, this bit on the inside, lift it up, fold it out and pulled out and around. This is now where it can get quite sort of tricky. 180 degree turn at the waist there. And what we're going to look to do, so we turn it back around this way. Let's move the head out of the way, move all this out of the way. What we're looking to do is we need to turn this over on itself first and foremost and push it all the way in. So that's clicked all the way inside. So you can see when you turn it back this way that the leg is down this needs to be down like that for it to all come together properly so if we fold this over see how it's sticking up there push it down into itself then you can connect these big tabs together if you want there once you've done that then it's a case of just bringing it all together so fold out the tail fold this back up and over and then this is ready to clip down don't do it yet fold the tail out bring this up and over and then just Wait, there's the two toes. Let's just make sure this is all the way in. If it's not, you can just push it in ever so slightly like that. And that's pretty much ready to go now. Leave this up there. We've got another ingenious bit of engineering now coming up. Take this whole front torso, turn it 180 degrees, spin it around like that. Now move these legs completely out of the way because this is going to fold over and it's going to fit in that gap there. Once it's fit inside there, then you can make sure that everything's lined up and it looks pretty much like it has. Yep, that's gone flush there. Let's bring the toes up as well. There we were the toes, that's there ready to go. Okay, right, fold the head into there. Bring the legs, large legs down and sort of ready into position. Not fully yet. Bring these large wings up and out of the way. Same with the head. Let's connect the head up first and foremost. We've got two large clips there. Two huge cutouts there, so let's click that into place, bring the large neck up. Okay, little feet, bring these around, out, click it into position, out, click it into position. Now you can take your wings, bring it down underneath, up and over, into position. Down underneath, up and over, into position, click that in. And then the final part was to bring these up and over and click all this into position as well. Bring the big legs down. If it doesn't connect, I'll show you what to do in two seconds because there's a high probability it won't because of how awkward it was initially. So just, you can see you've got a little tab there. Just push it down inside. Same on the other side. Push it inside there and it will clip and hold into position. And I'm sure you'll agree that is a truly stunning, very clever, very intricate transformation process. There we go. Okay then, let's take him back to robot mode. Thankfully, this is a bit easier because it's just a case of undoing everything we've done and of course, just folding it all back. So let's start off with this part here. Lift these up, lift this right up, fold it out of the way. Then of course, we can open up these and bring this around. Make sure it doesn't get caught on that leg. Bring these up and out of the way just for now. By doing this, this is now gonna enable us to fold and separate these whole leg parts here back. So what we're looking to do is bring this right out there, lift this up, and then of course we can fold the leg out like so. Once that's done, we can extend it back down. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it there so you can see what I'm about to do with the rest. So the same on here, let's open this, create the space there. 
and then you can see this is now going to open up like so and turn back on itself if it starts to get in the way just fold it and then straighten the leg so we might as well stay with these for now but before we do that let's take this chest part again make sure the legs stay out of the way bring these up like so and let's turn it around and just again get it out of the way let's leave that there let's focus our attention on the legs so the legs are here let's fold that down now it's just a case of tucking everything that was hidden away back so if we turn it around open this fold this over fold this up fold it down clip that in clip that in there and clip the side part in so that's one of the legs done what we did was we got this bit we folded it over we folded it over again and then we just clipped it down you see it all fits together like a big jigsaw brought the foot back up and clipped it down there the reason why it's looking backwards is because it is now you can turn it around your 180 degrees and we'll just leave that there because that's the bottom section done right let's draw attention to the top so let's take these little legs turn these in and bring them down turn these in and bring them down out of the way and then you can take the head bring this down out of the way as well to be honest then we can take the main robot head bring this up now remember we span this around we can do the same let's turn the arms back around as well turn these back around clip this up together there to be honest it's up to you where you want the wings but you can push these back and these will fit into the tabs back there as well last thing to do then is the arms arms up rotate at the shoulder 180 degrees extend this black lever back out bring the fist out turn it to face that way there's your one arm so same with this bring it up rotate 180 degrees extend this bit down this black lever there there we go take the fist out using this tab turn it round, and there you have him in his yep robot mode Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.